Hi, hi everyone, my name is Colette Matriga. Welcome to Colette's Thermi Kitchen. I am a Thermomix consultant and I love supporting and showing people the Thermomix all around Australia. Welcome to my tiny kitchen. Now, tonight Andrew and I fancy something spicy um, for dinner and I'm doing a favourite of mine and that's lav. Lav is basically a, a Thai chicken um, salad, I guess, and it's full of all those beautiful Thai aromats and beautiful crispy um, fresh vegetables and it's eaten from lettuce leaves which makes it one of my favourites. I love things from lettuce leaves. Now I've gone ahead and started this. this, there's quite a few steps in this recipe, it's a cookie do recipe, a couple of little things I've done different. The very first thing we did is to toast off some rice and the cookie do recipe tells us to do that in a frying pan on the stove top. Now um, why do that when you've got a Thermomix? So to toast rice in your Thermomix you want to go 10 minutes, yep 10 minutes. Um, at aroma temperature speed number one and you will start to smell all those beautiful toasty um, flavors coming off of that rice make sure your measuring cup is off so I did that first of all and then I picked up from the recipe and milled that and I love that with the Thermomix you know this is rice so I've actually roasted that down for 10 minutes it smells amazing and um, it's been milled down and it's just going to be beautiful in this dish. Basically what that will do, some recipes you'll see corn flour, what the rice will do is suck up any of that um, excess um, moisture and because this is in essence kind of a dryish salad. Then what I've done is I min <coughs> minced some chicken. Now the recipe on here says four seconds but it depends how big you're cutting your chicken. Now I tend to cut mine about this big, how big is that, Andrew? Mm, four centimetres. About four centimetres. And then I uh, freeze them at four centimetres. And then when I need it, I'll take them out. So when you're mincing, remember, you need to do it partially frozen. It will not work with just room temperature or cold mince. It's got to be partially frozen. And it gives the blade something to cut against rather than pull at the softer meat. So I, I actually did that for eight seconds. Um, and um, that minced it up beautifully. So you're not getting that horrible, oh, how would you describe chicken mince when you buy it from the supermarket? Not very nice. Get your chicken thighs and mince them in your Thermomix. It's so much tastier and also probably healthier. So that's been minced up and then I moved that into a, into a tray and then following on with the recipe, I started with those aromats. Put some peanut oil because it's going to cook it at nice high temperature. Added in some ginger, some garlic, some chilies, etc. And that cooked and sauteed for about five minutes. I then reintroduced the chicken with a bit of water and also I added in a teaspoon, actually a tablespoon of my chicken stock powder. And that's not in, in the cookie dough recipe, but it really gives you a punchy flavor. So that's where we're at. Let's have a little look, Andrew. So um, can everyone see in there? You can see the chili, those aromats, the water, and that's my lovely minced up chicken thigh that I did earlier in the Thermomix. So just taking that now off of the blades, because it, it can get wrapped around the blades a little bit. Oh, it smells good. Can you smell it from there? Probably not. I can do can actually, yeah. yeah. Very spicy. Yeah, we want it even spicier though, don't we? We want it we do. heat tonight. Well, I'll spice it up. <laughs> All right, so the next stage now, oh, it's just telling me not to scrape it down and get anything off the blades, and I've done that. So hitting next, and this is a great thing with the Thermomix. If you haven't got one, it tells you what to do step by step. So it's telling me to pop, oh, just go back. Um, telling me to pop this back on. Oh, I should have actually gone on in about six minutes time. That's a bit of a boo-boo by me. Never mind. So we're now going to continue cooking that for a further six minutes. Six minutes, Andrew. <laughs> well, I've got to tell a story because you started off talking about how you like having food between lettuce leaves. And it was a few weeks ago, we took our two sons, all four of us, to Betty's Burgers. Oh. So we all had, all had burgers, and, and Colette ordered whatever she ordered. 
and I could not believe that she ordered a burger in between two lettuce leaves. I have never seen anything so weird in the way of a burger between two lettuce leaves. It looked absolutely ridiculous. I mean, really it was. It was yummy. Um, I think it was a low carb option, but I just love lettuce, crunchy lettuce, and, and I thought, yeah, why not try that? You were a bit horrified, and the boys were too. Well, it's, like having a, it's like having a sandwich with no bread. You know, having a sandwich with two lettuce leaves. I know, I know. Um, I wasn't overly hungry. Yeah, good story. Um, this morning, I have to say as well, this is quite interesting too. So we've got, in, in our beautiful little rental here, we've got a ceramic hob. And it decided, and the ceramic hob's not expensive at all. It was made in China, I think Andrew looked it up. And, yeah, but it's um, called, the brand is called Bellissimo, so it sounds good. Yeah, Bellissimo. It sounds Italian. It does, but it's, <laughs> but it's made in some back streets of Beijing somewhere. <laughs> Anyhow, so it decided not to work. So it, it worked for a little while, and then it didn't work. So this morning I got up and I thought, oh no, coffee machine is still packed, I can't have a cup of coffee. And I was just washing up the dishes five minutes where, later. Where is the coffee machine? I actually, it's, it's packed away. Um, washing up the dishes, and then I remembered, of course the Thermomix has a kettle. I cannot tell you how fabulous the Thermomix is. So I poured a cup of water into my Thermomix and boiled it in the kettle. And I've been having wonderful cups of tea and coffee all day, which has been absolutely great, a godsend. And it's great that just with this Thermomix tonight, I can cook dinner and I don't need to dirty another pan or anything else, which is pretty amazing. I have to get you to cook something one day, Andrew. One day? <laughs> or, or in the words of Marlon Brando can from you? Godfather, one day, but yeah, that day will never might, come. I might enjoy that. Um, so I'm glad everyone's enjoying my cheat, si cheat sheets or reference cards. And in fact, I, I did um, the one last night where it tells you about mincing, so it reinforces mincing your meat in the thermomix. So it is on, on size. So if you do cut them quite small, like two centimeters, you probably would want to mince it for just four seconds. But for me, I tend to cut them in four centimeter pieces. So I want to go for about eight seconds and it's really nice. Um, so let me tell you what's happening at the moment in Thermoland. You probably know this already. It's a very exciting time. All of us consultants are, yay, absolutely great. Um, so we've got the trading offer. So if you've got a TM31 or a TM5 that's broken and you want to trade up, you can until I think it's the end of February. Um, so it is a very limited time. And basically you're going to get um, a brand new TM6. If you trade in your old Thermomix and you only have to pay $1,999. And for many people that's a great saving. I've got a couple of ladies with old TM31s where they, the plastic is degrading, etc. And they are super thrilled to have that opportunity to get a discount off the TM6 and start playing with that. So that's really exciting. So that trade in offer. The other offer, um, what's the other offer that we have? You don't know, do you? So our gift with purchase this month, um, if you are thinking of getting a TM6, is to, um, you can have our beautiful anniversary cookbook that comes free with your Thermomix. And you, many of you will have this already, and I think you'll agree, it's a fabulous, fabulous cookbook. A beautiful coffee table cookbook, lots of amazing recipes in that. And you can opt to pay an extra $29 and actually get, um, the carry, the carry bag for $29 and I think normally they're about $150 so an absolutely great opportunity this month to get a Thermomix and of course um, you get me to look after you on that journey which I'm very excited about you can join in on my exclusive customer cooking classes etc and we have a lot of fun where I cook and everyone else cooks at the same time usually on Zoom and they're super fun and you'll find details of all of those and they are just for my customers whether you're a mix shop customer an orphan that i have adopted or whether you bought a thermomix from me so those are just for my customers i do lots of other things for everyone else so i've got to give my customers some love and, and special special treatment so we've got about a minute to go here now um seriously i think you probably hear this from lots of people but i just want to mention to you about joining our beautiful community as a, as a Thermomix consultant. It's a fabulous way to 
earn extra money, to meet new people, and to develop your own personal skills. It's a very collaborative, very supportive um, family environment. Um, there's no real hard pressure on selling. There is an expectation to sell one machine a month only. And to do that, if you can commit to five hours a week, you're going to have a successful business. We take you hand in hand, skill you up, show you what to do, and then you will actually go out and start your own business. But you're not alone. You know, you'll have me there to support you. You'll have your team leaders there to support you. And of course, Thermomix there to support you. It's wonderful. And it's a really, really great time now to get out there and join. So just let me know if you want my information pack. Um, and I can send that out to you. Just don't message me. Okay, Thermomix now ringing. So that was six minutes. I managed to do quite well chatting. Um, all right, so here we go onto the next stage. Now what it's telling me to do, we want to drain this off because remember I was saying love is a kind of a, um, I can smell the ginger. I can smell it as yeah. well. It, it is a dry dish. So what I've got is my thermo server and my basket. And I'm just going to pour this into the basket. Oh, Andrew, you snuck that there for me. Thank you. He does look after me so well. <laughs> Um, I have got no idea what day it is today. What day is it today? Oh, it could be a Saturday. Is it Saturday? It's Saturday. Is it really Saturday? Or was it Friday? Oh, God, Andrew, don't scare me. I've got a lovely cooking experience tomorrow. No, so... it's Friday. <laughs> okay. God, that's a worry, isn't it? Oh. Neither of us know what day it is. <laughs> can anyone confirm, please, what day it is? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. So that's going to drain off beautifully. Thank you, thank you, Tracy. It's Friday. It is Friday. Oh, that's, that's, God, that's a worry, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's a bit of a worry. So don't forget, your, your, your Thermomix basket is a great um, multitask. It does so many things. I strain my orange-free juice in the mornings to get pulp-free, etc. in this. Um, so that's looking just amazing. All right. So done that. Thank you, Thermomix. What's next? So now we're going to add more flavor into this. So we're going to pop in there some um, eschalots. Now, why use eschalots versus onions? They come from the same family, but these are much sweeter. And of course, you could use onions if you want to, um, but I do love the flavor of eschalots, and I do tend to, to use those. Spring onions. <clears throat> um, coriander. So it says four sprigs. Now, I get quite a few people asking me, what is four sprigs? So basically a sprig of herbs is about four inches, about four inches. So I reckon that will be about four sprigs. That's inches, okay. inches, what do you mean? Oh, um, four, actually inches, yeah, I, I did mean inches. I'm, I'm a crafter, I'm a big, big crafter. And because I craft, everything comes from America, so it's all in inches. Imperial system. So how many, four inches, whatever that is in yeah. centimetres? That's uh, how many inches. Probably about eight, 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 eight centimetres. Okay. Now, um, so that would be there. And if you want to substitute it for dry, basically you're looking at about half a teaspoon or maybe a teaspoon of dry for a sprig of fresh herbs. Okay, so a tablespoon of fish sauce. That's Ooh. Coming. You sure that's enough? Well, that's I the love end of the fish bottle. sauce. That's the end of the bottle. Oh, no more? No more. Uh, a tablespoon of lime juice, so let's just grab some lime juice. You must put some oyster sauce in. No, Andrew. Okay. Thank you, Monica. 2.5 centimetres to the inch. <laughs> you guys are so good. <laughs> um, now, remember, just you probably all do this, but when you are adding your limes in, don't cut them in half, cut off the cheeks, because they're so much easier to get so much more juice out of. So use the cheek rather than half a lime. And it's kinder and easier on your hands. Because if you're like me, you know, reaching those kind of twilight years, my little wrists get a bit weak. As Andrew will know, because I'm always giving him jars to open up. <laughs> so lime juice has gone in, um, some extra dry chili flakes to give us a bit more spice. And um, some brown sugar for sweetness. So remember, all Thai food is based on those beautiful aromats of salty, sweet, spice and sour. 
So we've got all that happening there with our lime, our, our chili, etc. Fish sauce for salt. Um, and now we want some mint. So we want one to two sprigs of lovely mint. Now I didn't have any Thai mint, so I'm just using some ordinary mint. And I won't put so much in because Andrew's not. I don't like mint. No, no, a little bit is good. Mint's okay in my toothpaste, but not in my food. <laughs> So Annette asks, how can I please become a mix shop customer? Oh, Annette, so, so become one of my customers. Um, if, you, if you want to be like in my inner circle, um, you can either buy a Thermomix from me, which many of you have done. Thank you so much. Um, or when you go to the mix shop um, and you put your order in, there is um, a, a field that comes up where you can select your consultant. So you just type my name in and what that does, then it um, aligns you to me. And then when you place an order, I will get an email to say, Annette, place this order. And then what I will do is I will usually contact you, um, just to say thank you so much, etc. And I usually send you some bits and pieces for reference. And then you can gain access to those inner workshops and things. Um, so you can select whatever your consultant is. So if you have another consultant, select their name. Um, but if you want me, obviously select mine. And if you don't have a consultant and you want me to adopt you, to adopt you and do exactly the same process or give me send me a message saying you don't have a consultant and you would like to be adopted and I will look after you. So thanks Annette, good question. Alright so that's when our mixing cold is in and now we're just going to blitz that all together for about five seconds. <laughs> and now scraping down Gotta be impressive, isn't it? All those flavors, my goodness me. So this dish is nearly done. Soon we will be sitting down and enjoying this. Now if you haven't made it, do make this one. Um, or even the San Choy Bao, which is beautiful. So now I'm going to add in here the reserved toasted rice and the um, just some leaf. I won't actually put too many in. It's okay, just a few. Andrew doesn't like them. And then um, measuring cup again. And we're just going to blitz that round at speed number two. Mm. Cheers. Actually, that's some lovely. Prosecco today. Prosecco today. We're not celebrating, but very nice. Thank you. Okay, and then we go next. And now it basically. Um, I have missed a step, haven't I? So I'm going to go back. This is going to go in. And what about the peanuts? I'm going to chop those up and use them as a garnish. Okay. And what's in the other cup there? Or? Oh, that's just some pepper, and I? I've already put that in. Okay, so I'm just pop that in. Yum. Get in the habit of reading your recipes. Um, in advance because there are things that you know that like like just now I, I know this recipe and I, I realize I missed of adding that um, and I'm just going to mix that through it's on reverse for nine seconds so let's plate this up because I know you love seeing it all plated up um, and see what I've actually got so what we're going to have with this is our little plate here. So this beautiful lard. Now please make sure you, you taste. You might need to add more fish sauce or more lime. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to add a little bit more lime to that. Sorry, honey. Take off another cheek. Add that freshness to that even more. Okay. I think it's spot on. You like it? It's going to be I do. Better. Now I added that little bit extra. Thank you, darling. Okay, so pouring that in here. It's spicy, it's mm. moist, it's sort of herby, it's just full of, full of flavours. So, the lard's gone down. Let's get a nice, pretty little 
bit of coriander to make it look pretty. So with the um, bits and pieces to go with it, earlier on I just chopped up some spring onions um, and I popped them into some freezing cold water with ice and we have this lovely curly kind of spring onion. So we're going to have that with it. And we have got to have... Um, I think bean sprouts would be good with this as well. Oh, Andrew, you're so good. It'd be, add a bit of a... Oh, you got the bean sprouts. <laughs> oh, okay, well done. Well done. You're lurking through these cooking sessions, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. The bean sprouts seriously, seriously make it. That will add the nice crunch to it. Yep, bean sprouts. And then, um, obviously, some lovely lettuce leaves to serve this up in. And then I've got a little cucumber here. Let's put some cucumber in as well. Monica says, I need a cameraman like Andrew. I oh, know, you can't have him, he's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to whiz up some cucumber. This is my only, only decent sized plate that I have in the kitchen. Not a lot at all. In there. Leave the skin on the cucumber? Yeah. It's green, Andy. Some nice cucumber slices. Let's put this back here. Put these little guys just down there. Maybe do one bit more, and then I think we're about ready to so. I think we'll get some fresh chilli and then just sprinkle it on as well, do I think? I think a bit of chilli would add the... Oh, of course, what's missing? Uh, add the extra spice to it. The crunch. We need the, we've got lots of crunch happening, but let's get these. And... I guess I could have popped them in the Thermomix to chop them up, couldn't I? It snaps up beautifully. It's a cookie do recipe. Remember those little key things about toasting the rice in the Thermomix, 10 minutes, Varoma temperature, at speed one, and um, adding chopped nuts in as your garnish, that's not in there as well. And so I'm just going to pop this little pile of nuts just there on the front. Yum. And um, remember to add in some chicken stock powder or chicken stock paste when you add the water in because it's just going to add so much to the flavour. So there we go. I will get the chilli out later and sprinkle it on, but let me have shall I make one for you, Andrew? You've been such a good boy. <laughs> now go on, I'll wait you so you have. Okay, so I have my lovely chicken. So a little bit of spring onions, lots of these. I'm gonna put some more chili on my other ones, a sprinkling of peanuts. And um, I'm oh, going to put a cucumber. Some, oh, cucumber! And um, I think I put out some sweet chili sauce to go with it. My homemade sweet chili sauce, which I have in the fridge. Mm. Very happy place. Mm. So I'm a messy eater. Happy evening <laughs> ahead. What's the movie you've chosen for us tonight? Uh, passengers. Passengers. Okay. Looks sounds good. Um, so enjoy this, love, have a go at making it, reach out if you've got any questions and definitely reach out if you want to give a thermomix mix in your kitchen this month, I'd love to look after you. Cheers everybody, my name's Colette Matriga, this gorgeous man behind the camera is Andrew and we will see you next time. Bye for now. Go and have another bite. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> All good? <laughs> Okay, say bye-bye. Mm. Bye, everybody. Oh, good, Andy.